In this video, I'll be doing a preview of Kali Linux. It was formerly known as Backtrack Linux. It's a penetration testing system, a damn good one at that. I've done an awful lot of features to enable things like uh, penetration testing on wireless networks, your own wireless network connection, of course, not your neighbors. Not that I'm stressing anything there. Um, I'm not going to show you all the applications on here because there are so many. I don't even know what they all do. It's quite a flexible system here. You can dual boot it with Windows or another Linux distro. You can run it off a live CD. You do an awful lot with it. Well, so Kali Linux is using the GNOME desktop. Now, I believe it's based on Ubuntu 12.10. However, the package list cut down so much, I'm unable to find a proper method of actually determining it. So to take a look at the applications they give you, top 10 list. Let's see, of all these, I'm familiar with Aircrack NG, useful for getting into wireless networks. John, John the Ripper for generating passwords. Nmap, you can see what ports and hosts are available on the network. And Wireshark, so you can see all the packet information with Wireshark. Very useful program. So just opened up the web browser, which the default is Ice Weasel. So taking a look through the tools, well, it groups them quite nicely. Information gathering, SMB analysis, oh, NBT scan, cool. <laughs> look. Just tells you the information about how to use the tool. Ah, oh, didn't even work there. Ah, oh, sweet. That one worked. Mm, not entirely, though. So, vulnerability analysis. Again, we've got various categories here. Web applications. See, there are absolutely loads. This distro is chocked full of applications, it's about 2 gig to download. The password tags, ah, GPU tools. Now there is a way of getting the graphics card to assist with the processing of password attacks. I've absolutely no idea how, I just know it's possible. Wireless attacks, now I bet this is going to be one of the popular tools for Kali Linux. People trying to break into their neighbor's wireless network. I mean, they're penetrating their own wireless network, of course. So there are tools you need. Airmon, Aircrack, Aerodump, Air Replay. I'm not sure you need that so much. I'm a bit rusty on this one. I have done it in the past. It tells you how to use it there. And there's a load of help on the website. But look, we're not even part of the way down this yet, and uh, I think this video is going to be getting quite long. Exploitation attacks. Metasploit. Metasploit. Now that is going to be one handy tool to use. Sniffing and spoofing. Oh dear. Voice and surveillance. Network spoofing. VoIP tools. Web sniffers. Maintaining access. Oh nice. How nice. Reverse engineering, ah, if you're into that. Debuggers, disassembly, MISC reverse engineering tools. Ah, stress testing. Like setting up the router announcement attack with Windows. That's good for a laugh. Router advertisement attack on Windows 8, which proved quite vulnerable, which is quite funny. Hardware hacking. Android tools, no, not Android. Ah, Arduino, Arduino tools, okay. Forensics. Of course, forensics may be needed. And there is a forensics option on boot up. I wonder if that means it's just not going to leave any information on the drive. Because if you're doing forensics, you don't want to be leaving a trace of the work you've done. Ah, network forensics, POF. Well, that will uh, silently discover the computers on the network. Oh, RAM forensics tools. Okay. Reporting tools. Ah. So you've got uh, methods of keeping track of what you've done, evidence management, case files, media capture. I've got to record my desktop on here. Okay. So that's it. That really is the main part of Kali Linux. Uh, as I've said, it's just a preview. Uh, just a quick glance down here at the rest of the distro. You can see it's got a few accessories. Uh, so there's a thing about the electronics here, the Arduino IDE. Uh, graphics, it's just a document viewer and the image viewer. Internet, you've got desktop sharing, empathy internet messaging, and ice weasel for the web browser. Office, it's just a dictionary, a document viewer, and that keep note. Programming, Arduino again, PyCrust, XRCED, 
sound and video, got VLC media player, sound recorder and Brazio. Administration, got G part head. Well, there's a few extras here on the system tools. Like that, Microsoft Windows password cracker. Software updater, uh, system monitor, just see how that's doing. 270 meg of RAM in use. Anyway, that's an overview of Kali Linux. Thanks for watching. See you later.